What's up YouTube, it's today's back here channel 21 I'm back with another video And today, um, I left my Instagram followers again Let me choose what I'm going to do And I am going to do the worst food versus the best food challenge What I mean by that is like, I'm going to buy I'm going to go to Morrison's and buy some like cheap store but, like food that is just like not good for you Then I'm going to buy like the food that's actually okay for you So yeah, I'm going to see you in Morrison's um, before we go, make sure to follow me on my Snapchat, Instagram and TikTok. I'll just pop it right there and let's go. Right, so I'm inside now, I'm in the lift and let's go down the stairs. Let's go. Right, so I'm just going to go look for some cheap breakfast and I'll see you. Right, I'm going to look for some cheap breakfasts and I'll see you. So as you can see, we've got some porridges, so I might choose one of them, so... Right, so as you can see, I got one from Morrison's, which is 50p, and this is £1.15, which is kind of a lot, but yeah, let's go to snacks. Right, so as you can see, we've got 10 fish fingers for 70 pence, then we're going to, then we've got 12 quad fish fingers for £2. So yeah, let's go on to some dinner. So as you can see, we've got a cheese and tomato pizza for 60 pence. And we've got a pizza mozzarella for one fifty. So yeah, let's go for drinks. Right, so for drinks, we've got actually a couple. Just gonna look for the cheapest one or one of the cheapest we've got. So yeah. All right, so this is expensive one. So we've got one for two pounds. It's orange And also we've got this one for one pound. Cause actually these ones actually, um, you know, they're not like. So yeah, these ones are scrap, so I can't buy those ones. See, so yeah, I think um, that's it. Let's go. I really can't wait to do this. Like, I'm really nervous. So, yeah. So, walking. Let's go to the checkout. Three, two. Surprising item. Right, so we're going up the steps and we've got the shopping. And yeah, I'll see you back home. Right, so we've got the Morrison Savers one. Um, and we've got the uh, the one that's actually not from Madison's, but yeah. Um, so we've got the syrup. The difference is we've got this like big thing that like actually makes like the golden syrup, and then we've got one that doesn't. So there's a little difference there. And let me show you the ingredients. So as you can see, I've made them. I'm um, just gonna give them a stir then. It's served. Um, so this one actually needs 170. Uh, milliliters and the Morrison Saver one needs 150 milliliters, so there's a p bit of a difference there. Anyway, let's go take. So the one that's um, a little bit more is actually got um, like as you can see, it's not really that much watery, but the one the Morrison Savers one is actually really watery. So yeah, let's um, taste them. Right, so now we're gonna take a couple tastes of this, and yeah. Whoa. I think the flavour of this is like less than that one. So yeah, let's keep tasting. It's, it's alright. If I rated it a five, I'd give it a three. Also, this tastes of like plain um, porridge because it's actually meant to be golden syrup, but the flavour isn't really strong enough. So yeah. Now I can feel some actual good flavour in the middle, so I've finished like half of it now and in the middle it tastes more golden syrup, so maybe, yeah. And there's me done guys, so I've done my porridge now, let's go taste the golden syrup one. The actual one that's not from Morrison Savers. But yeah, let's go. Right, so as you guys knew before I, as you know, before I um, 
made this, you just saw some big chunks that actually are like made of golden syrup, so maybe it gives extra flavour to it. But let's give it a taste. Oh, I'm really excited. Perfect. If I rated it out of five, I'd give it a four and a half. But yeah, I actually love it. And the reason I'm giving it a four and a half and not a five is because I don't think it's the best porridge I've ever tasted, but it's really, really good. But yeah, four and a half is close enough, so yeah, let's continue. I think I've had enough of the porridge now. Really good. Loved it. Um, now let's move on to lunch. Right, now we've got the Morrison Savers fish fingers and we've got the cod fish fingers and as you can see, let me show you the ingredients. Right, so the Morrison Savers fish fingers takes 12 minutes and the cod fish fingers take 40 minutes so there's a little difference. But yeah, let's put these bad boys in the oven. So the um, Morrison Saver ones are actually thinner than the, the cod ones so yeah, let's put them in the oven. Right, we're just going to cook the pizzas, but we're going to have them like after the fish fingers so we don't like have to waste time. So, um, yeah, let's have a realize that actually the, this one takes longer than the, this one. So, yeah, let's put them in the oven. Right, so as you can see, the Morrison Savers pizza, like, you can see that actually that the tomato, there's a lot of tomato paste and there's not enough cheese. But look at this one, it's actually really fancy, tomatoes, um, cheese, um, really fancy one. Yeah, but let's put these in the oven, I'm just going to put like a quarter each of it, not going to put all of it because you know I might not eat it, but yeah, whatever, let's put these in the oven. Right, for the pizza, I have a really bad feeling about it, like the one about the like Morrison Savour one, because that, there's actually not enough um, cheese on it, which is kind of a shame. But yeah, the fish fingers and pizza will be soon, and yeah. Right, so as you see, we've got the Morrison Saver fish fingers and the Morrison Saver juice. And we've got the cod fish fingers and the juice. But yeah, uh, let's give these a try, Emma. Um, I feel very confident, like, you know, but yeah, let's give it Right, so now I'm going to um, start trying the Morrison Saver ones, so yeah. Um, I don't think usually when I try like some fish fingers, like the you can get like that. I don't know what you call it. It's like a more juicy bit, but that's just it's a normal plain fish finger. Or the juice. It's really like sour, the juice, but I guess it's alright. I've rated the fish fingers out of five, I'd give it a three and a half. And the juice, I'd give it maybe a three because the sourness. But yeah. Right, so now we've got the cod fish fingers. What I'm expecting is like a soft on the inside, but a little crunchy on the outside. So yeah, let's give it a taste. Mmm. They put a lot of breadcrumbs in this, which makes it more good. They just, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was alright. I would rate the fish fingers a 4 out of 5, because... They put a bit too much breadcrumbs. As I said, it does taste good, but like if you put a lot, a lot, a lot, not really. But the juice, um, I'd give a four and a half. As like I said with the other porridge, it's not the best um, juice I've had. So yeah. Right. So we've got the pizzas now. This is my dinner. But look, there's actually not enough cheese on this, but it's still alright, I guess. But yeah, let's just give it a taste. But the tomato... 
the tomato paste is actually kind of good. It's tasty. I love it. But um, yeah, just maybe a bit more cheese, then it will make a perfect one. Right, so now we've got this one, which I actually really love. Very healthy pizza, um, I guess. Thin crust. But yeah. Um, it's alright, I guess, but... The Morrison flavour pizza, if I've rated it out of five, I'd give it a three and a half. Not the best pizza, but still alright, I guess. Um, this one I'd give it a four, because I love like, the toppings it's got, and yeah. Right, I'm going to end the video here. Out of the Morrison flavour, or the ones that are okay, but... If I had to choose it of them, I'd go with both of them. They're alright, you can choose whatever you want. They're both okay to buy. You can buy 50-50, you all you want. But yeah, I'm going to end the video. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you later.